Get a drop four in two weeks. Summer skill set piece. Floats into the back post. Ott and Mamedi are wrestling. Both sets of fans calling for a foul. Mamedi plays it away. Kamara. Now then. Lino down the left-hand channel. He's got Lockhead in the middle. Lino's into the area. Goalkeeper comes. Lino scores. Unbelievable. What a turnaround in the Rangers. Listen to this place. Look at this place. Standing on thunder from 2-0 down. We just saw just then when Port Melbourne got themselves into the attacking penalty area. That was just some wonderful, exquisite football. And uh, the Thunder might play some wonderful football of their own through Joffrey Lino. Faced with his marker in Jalil Ragag, turning onto his right, then onto his left, and onto his right again, rolling it across goal. But get there, Godoy got there. Just... Oh, that's good football. And a real chance here to seal it. It's all over. Dover, rolling it right here for Lino, who's been involved in the last few minutes for the Thunder. He's inside the penalty area. Looking to stand it up towards the back post. Not a bad idea. Nobody had gambled in red. Only just really struggling at the moment to move this ball out of the back. Now, Lino, he looks like he was onside. He is. Lino into the box and a great finish. And it's 2-0 for the Dandenong Thunder. Jeff Lino with a composed... Shaping up for a long-range strike. Pokes it out to Yilders. Edwards looking to get in the way. And we'll see that out for a... Wow! Goodness gracious. Edwards looked to see it out. But Lino, like a fox, just drifted past him. And he pulled the shirt and has awarded the yellow card. I'm not sure I've seen anything like that in the MPL in recent years. But Joffrey Lino has just has pace to burn, doesn't he? He's very, very quick. And given that... Now played out here again. Damon looking for Lino. Oh, Derek. Rash challenge. It is a penalty. And that is not what Wait the doctor... shows for Thunder. who will be able to send the ball down the other end, having won a foul. This is Lino. Dover's running down the left-hand side to provide support. Still Lino, though. Jeffrey Lino still going. Uses Damon. And Dandy Thunder strike first. It's Grant Damon with the goal. They took the ball quickly. Jeffrey Lino deserves a lot of credit for his run down the right-hand side. He held the ball up expertly. And, and they're going to get... It's play on, the referee says. Everyone stopped expecting a free kick on that occasion, but wasn't the case to be Lockhead now. Goes to Lino, who shoots, and he's going to score this. In the eighth minute... Ball played wide here. Lino, one-on-one -on -one with Mills. He likes these situations. Jeff Lino gets in towards the area. Good save. Although this week it's his opposite number, Harvey Lopez, who took that goalkeeping honour. Thunder attempting to finish with a wet sail. Lino has been so threatening in these sort of situations. He cuts it square. Lockhead arrived. <laughs> Hallam, Lino, Hallam making the run. He's in behind here, Casper Hallam. Before a game against North Geelong, looks like a triple change here for Port Melbourne. On will come Ibrahim, but not before. The Thunder grab a consolation. Through Joffrey Lino. 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 In a gripping contest. Still got action to come. Lino turns on the afterburners. The chance arrives for Mamadi Kamara. And credit to Javi Lopez who closed down the angle well.
So maybe giving Gardner a little bit of a, a bit of a rest. He's covered a lot of distance and done a lot of work so far. There's Lino now. Those long, lanky legs finding it very difficult by the Warriors. As uh, Kieran Dover now. Scott Lockhead is there. Rolls it across to Marzis. Central for Lino who's just come on. Will it fall for Lino? The impact sub. He's only been on the pitch. A matter of moments. And he extends his lead as the Thunder leading goal scorer this season. Jeffrey Lino inside the box now. He gets around Stoshic, he knocks it back, but it's intercepted. Under, of course, we're reduced to 10 men in that game with Ismaili, who misses, of course, tonight. Now Lino gets to the touchline and whips it. Across into the area, danger, eventually cleared away. The chance is still alive, appeals for handball, not heated. And the counter-attack is still on, perhaps, for Dandenong Thunder. Lino does really well to hold up the ball. It's really... Able to ensure that Mullen City don't draw a level. Lino, nods it back for Dover. Lino... Kept the ball for the Dandenong Thunder. It's now with Leo Malzi. It's been some high-scoring games at this venue this season. A 6-2 comes to mind recently. Here's Lino. Ellen! 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 Not far away Fucking from Jeffrey Lino. Lino. Edge of the defensive penalty area for the Thunder. Lino keeps the ball. And keeps the ball. Looking for Turgut. Hallam fizzes it. It's Fulton. First time ball forward wasn't his best. Now Lino back to goal on halfway. Rolled it short for Lockhead. He's got Mazis ahead of him on his left. Chance here for Lino again. The two number nines going at it. Zara might have been holding him. Lino eventually emerges. Forcing the corner. Getting... 